Hi guys, welcome to Why This Print Fail. Today, we are looking at an unusual problem in 3D printing. Let us look at the video of this failure. I found this video from some internet source. The printing does not go well and the printed part seems melting and not rigid during the print. To make it worse, the appearance is as bad as a melting cake. To replicate the scenario, I will design a similar pattern 3D printed part and try to print it out and see if I will face that problem too. I had designed this small screw without thread. Let us try to print it now. As you can see, the printing behaves almost the same as the video shown earlier. The printer part is not rigidly formed and the surface even seems to stick with the nozzle causing the overall structure to swing from side to side. It is almost impossible to print out the straight screw as designed with this condition. The main reason behind this failure is due to the insufficient cooling for the printer part as we know that the extruder will melt down materials and deposit them to form the printer part. Once the material is deposited, it needs to be cooled as fast as possible to form rigid structure. If the materials fail to cool down fast enough before other materials are being laid on this soft layer, the model will be deformed easily. This situation might be even worse if the printer part is extremely small. Before the bottom layer can be cooled down properly, the top layer is already toppled over which might distort the figure. Now that we had known about the reason behind this failure, it is time to try out some settings and see if we can solve this problem. In my first try, I increased the setting of the minimum layer cooling time under the Silicer cooling settings section. This setting will force the speed of the extruder to slow down if the pre-calculated minimum layer cooling time is not achieved. However, the result is not as good as expected. This is because the printing part is so small that even if the speed of the extruder is being slowed down to its minimum, the minimum layer cooling time is still not achieved. The overall printing time is 5 minutes. Thus, for my second try, I also decreased the extruder minimum speed under the cooling section from 10 mm per second to 5 mm per second. This means that now the extruder can slow down even more to achieve the minimum cooling time for the layer. The time taken is slightly increased compared to my previous print setting which is around 9 minutes. You can observe great reduce in speed compared to the previous printing. This result comes out great as the walls are perfectly printed without bumps. The next setting that I have tried out to solve this problem is by implementing the lift head function in the cooling sections. This setting will cause the extruder to be lifted and moved away from the printing part every layer. It will pause and resume only after the layer has achieved the minimum layer cooling time. This setting has huge impact to the overall estimated printing time. With the setting, it is estimated to print for 37 minutes, which is very long for this 3D part. Also, during the head lifting process, I observed that the materials tend to leak out from the extruder, causing unwanted loops and bad structures of the printing. In the end, I failed to print even one complete model after a few tries, hence I will not recommend using this method. The next thing that I tried out to solve this problem is also very interesting. We do not have to change any of your slicer setting, but instead, we can change the orientation of the 3D models. For example, instead of making the 3D model standing vertically, we are going to print it horizontally. With this method, each layer of the printer part gets very sufficient cooling durations. However, one drawback of this method is that you might need to apply supports which causes extra usage of materials. 
As a conclusion, I would like to give you the best solution in solving this problem, which is to increase the minimum layer cooling time and reduce the extruder minimum speed at the same time. This is so far the best solutions that I can find out. It is easy, setting changes fix, less cost, reasonable printing time and most importantly, good printing surface quality. So, this is the end of the video on how you can solve a melting cake light problem during your 3D printing. If you think that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friend. You might be their savior in the journey of 3D printing. As always, thanks and happy printing.